everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today's video is all about my project ten pan i've never done a project pan officially before but i do cycle through my makeup and i will explain that in a little while what i mean but i picked out 10 products uh about a week ago now <laughs> i tried to film this video about a week ago and it just the clips were not great and it just did not work so i'm trying to refilm it <laughs> but i picked these products out about a week ago um i have got 10 products i'm focusing on but i've also I've got other products in my collection I'm focusing on like different um like categories of my makeup I'm trying to focus on and I will explain that as well so without further ado let's just get on with my project 10 pack so I have got everything in this bag I have got three products out right now because I wanted to take pictures of the levels that they're at currently I don't have a sharpie <laughs> I need to get a sharpie um but I just thought I'd show you because I've had them standing up now for quite a few like a few days like a couple of days I think and I can sort of see the lines of them kind of one of the products I'm very disappointed in myself that I haven't used more because I've been using it religiously recently and it's just not going down so unless it's just not accurate but it's really hard to tell so let's first get on with I'm just gonna tell you out outright there are basically three i think it's only three um what's the word only three um brands in this project pan which is annoying but it's because a lot of the time if i buy high-end makeup products casper's trying to eat something in the kitchen this is really annoying um <laughs> sorry he's trying to knock everything down as usual but it's fine we'll try and get on with it um so a lot of the time I buy high-end makeup and I keep getting lip, my hair in my lip gloss. <laughs> um, a lot of the time I buy high-end products, I use them a few times and then I'm like, well, they're too precious to use now, I can't. Or I buy more products and I forget, like a couple of these products I have used so much but I've then forgotten about them and I just need to use them up. So, the first three products I'm going to show you are the ones that I've had out and that I've got like lines on, like kinds of like lines where you can see what i've used so one of them is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation i've got mine in the shade number two i have had this for like two and a bit years now it's been way too long i've had this since like october 2020 it needs to be used up i can just see casper's tail and i'm trying to climb the window as usual um but i think from what i can see we are up to like here so up to the top of where it says foundation, um, which <laughs> I thought I used up more than that. But then at the same time, I'm not surprised because you only need like a pump or so of this. And I've just, I just applied all these products and a couple others um, to my face. And I, f I put a pump and a half because I've got quite a fat face. <laughs> um, but I think, I think with persistent use, I could probably get this used up. I think with this project pan, I don't expect, I mean, I don't wear makeup every day. I wear makeup most of the time if I'm home. Like, if I'm like home during the week on my own, then I will probably wear makeup or I'll practice makeup. Not practice, but pardon me. I will play with makeup, like eyeshadow palettes and like things like that. So a lot of these, a lot of the times I might put foundation stuff on and I think... I should just wear this because it needs using up I do like this foundation quite a lot but there's others in my collection that I prefer which is probably why I haven't used this up um fully yet and it's just like one of them products where it's like oh but it's Charlotte Tilbury it's high-end it was like 35 pounds it's like and I've got non I've got NARS foundations that are like the same price like just use it up please I mean I love the packaging so that's probably why I didn't want to use it but you only need a pump it's one of those foundations that you just don't need a whole lot of. Some foundations you need so much of and some you just don't. So, The next product from Charlotte Tilbury I have is the Airbrush Flawless... Is it? No, it's the Flawless Filter. Um, mine's in the shade number one, Fair. I think from what I can see, my line of demarcation is here. And I think you guys can see it as well. I don't know if it'll focus. Um, I mean, I only use this a few times before I put this in my makeup bag a couple of months ago i kept having it in my shot my stash and i kept using it every time i do my foundation pretty much um so i just need to use this as much as i can try and use it up um again it's charlotte tilbury so i'm just like i don't want to use it as charlotte tilbury but i have to use it it's 
in my collection my hair is all over the place i apologize i did just straighten it but it's just not it i don't know it's too long man <laughs> um the next product is actually from fenty this is the fenty beauty i think they're called gloss bombs and this is in the shade fenty glow now i think you can see where i'm up to i used to i've had this since 2020 like summer of 2020 i swear i've used more of this because this was my favorite lip gloss for so long i think i have used more but i don't know it's really really hard to tell but of course there's a brush in there as well like an applicator so it's like a bit hard to tell but i'm i put it on today and i forgot that i actually really like this lip gloss and sometimes i don't even put lip like lipstick on i just put like a tinted lip balm or like a lip balm on so that would actually be really helpful like if i'm again playing with makeup and i'm not trying a lipstick out you can see casper on the window still hi casper <laughs> um so then the next few the next products are in this bag i'll just pick them out in no particular order there we go one another fenty i told you i got a few fenties in here and again summer 2020 actually i think it was 2019 that i picked this up this is the uh sunstalker instant warmth bronzer warmth bronzer warmth bronzer in the shade shady biz now can you tell this is well loved from the outside and also i have like a weird mark in mine i think it's just like a water mark like a, a mark that's from water i don't know what happened but i've had this for quite a while it looks a bit dodgy i think i might have to try and get the top layer off because i think i dipped my brush in it when my brush was slightly damp and it just i don't know if it will show you but it just looks you can see it slightly it looks a bit weird it needs using up all right i mean i've got quite a bit of a i got a bit of a dent a dip in it like the pan used to be like fully to the the white bit and now it's not so i definitely have used quite a lot it is one of my favorite bronzers i think once i finish this up i'll probably repurchase it because it is one of my favorites although there's probably other formulas i would prefer but i'm gonna lucky dip again another so this is my first milk product woo i think i got two <laughs> so this is the milk makeup flex highlighter in the shade iced now this is a challenge putting a highlighter in here a pressed highlighter because you know it takes a while you don't need a lot of a highlighter this is a stunning highlighter i absolutely love it it's one of my favorite highlighters i own but it, like i need to try and use a highlighter because all my highlighters are like i don't know but this is my favorite well this is my favorite highlighter so i think i can get a pan on this so for all the other for the the foundation the flawless filter and the lip gloss my goal for the year is to use it up for the fenty um powder uh, bronzer i'm gonna try and pan it i'm gonna try and hit pan on this as well even if it's like a tiny minuscule little pan like i'm gonna give it a go see how far i get i mean i won't get rid of it after because it's one of my favorite products but um the fenty one will probably need to go because it's been so long but this i haven't had this as long so hopefully it'll be still be fine but yeah my goal with this is to hit pan on it it is one of my favorite highlighters so i thought we will see how far we get i mean i will happily use this so the next product oh it is ouch a charlotte tilbury product again this is the hollywood beauty light wand easy highlighter in the shade spotlight now i haven't used this in quite a while and then i have been i watched emma's rectangle and with emma's rectangle she uses her um liquid highlighters with a brush like she puts it on the back of her hand uses a brush and puts it on never thought of that and i tried it the other day and i was like i could use i could use this up like that and i tried it like that today i tried putting a bit on the back of my hand but of course because it's the doe like the the weird sponge it didn't work so i had to put it straight on my face like bit by bit and then blend it with the brush but it did work um i want to say i'm about here with it i did use this quite a lot to be fair when i was using it all the time um and i actually do really enjoy this it's a lovely shade it it would it goes really well with the milk product so i can put this on and the milk so there's that next product oh we got another milk product i think this is the other, the last milk product this is the milk hydro grip 
absolutely love this primer it's one of my favorite primers actually it's my favorite primer in my whole collection but i've had this for quite a while and it needs to be used up again the whole mentality of oh it's my favorite i don't want to use it up zoe just use it up please it, it like it needs to be used up and we can see my mark on this so i am about i am the amount of product is just here at the eye so it's just at the bottom of this eye here from milk so we've we've done quite a, a lot of this already like i think i'm just over half of used in this and my goal to, is to use this up the same as the charlotte tilbury uh, highlighter i need to use this up um i love this primer it's one of my favorites for like gripping my makeup on and I use it with pretty much every single foundation that I have, so it's one of my favourites. Have another sh another Charlotte Tilbury? No, another Fenty. We have the Fenty Beauty Cream, what are we, Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. Again, this will work really well with the powder, but I have made my dent on this. I've had this since summer 2020 when it came out, so we're going on about three years now. Um, and I have got a really beautiful dent in the middle of this. And my goal with this is to try and use it up. But if I hit pan on it, I think, actually no. I think I need to hit pan on it and then get rid of it because it's so old. So if I hit pan on this, I will probably pull in maybe another cream bronzer instead. <clears throat> Bloody voice is going. But this product is so old that if I hit pan on it and make a really nice big pan dent in it, like not a dent, a, a nice big pan in it, I will be happy to get this out of my collection and pull something else in. So we have that. And then we have two more products. Um, we have got the uh, two blushes, two cream blushes. Why did I choose this product is a good question to me. I don't know. We have got the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand High Blush in the shade Peachgasm. This isn't my favourite product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is actually not the best. This is what it looks like. It's like a highlighter and blush mixed into one. Like, I think I'd probably use this as a highlighter or like a, a, a what's it called? A blush topper more than anything. I mean, it's pretty. It just has, like, pink glitter in it. It's just a bit strange. I would love to use this all the way up, but I don't think I will. I think getting it about half would be about the best, but we're about there. Like, there's not... We haven't made great of a dent of this. This is not my favourite product from Charlotte Tilbury at all. It's one of my least, actually. Um, but we're about here, roughly, give or take. Um, and I'm going to try my best to use this, but... And then the last actual product from my original 10 is the Fenty Cream Blush in the shade Petal Poppin. Again, if I hit pan on this, I'd be happy, but it's tiny, so I could pan it. I could pan it and use it up. <coughs> Excuse me. It is tiny, so I feel like I could actually use this up. But if I only hit pan on it, then that's fine as well. I don't know. I think this is like something in the middle of it i don't know if that's split oh no it was a bit of hair <laughs> i thought it like split down the middle it's just a bit of hair so ignore my like nail mark in this but i have used that quite a lot and then there's other products in my collection that i thought i would just mention um so things like powder i have too many powders like loose not my loose powders to be fair i've only got the one i'm currently using and then one full size and that's it well i've got a mini of one of them because it's my favorite and i want to travel with it but i have so many pressed powders maybe every time i do a shot my stash i just need to add a pressed powder in and just keep going but i'm currently using up the charlotte tilbury airbrush airbrush flawless filter powder um but i wouldn't use that all over my face like i would with this one for instance from Colourpop, the no filter powder like it's tiny to be fair actually i would use this on my only only under my eyes but rebel stay matte i use all over my face like i would so maybe i need to try i need to try and use up my powders um another thing that i have been trying to use up is my setting sprays i have only got four like setting sprays left in my drawer i did have quite a few more um two of which are like longevity sprays and two of which are like bring your face back to life of the powder um and i'm currently 
nearly run out of one of them actually i'll show you it i've nearly run out of one of them in my makeup bag which is my bring your face back to life spray which is this one look literally the tiniest bit left and then i'm also using the elf stay all night micro fine setting mist so we're trying to make our way through okay oh i didn't put an eyeshadow palette in this because i rotate my eyeshadow palettes a lot and i would never hit pan on any singular shadow so i'm just trying to think if there's anything else i don't think there's anything else that i need to mention about products but yeah i work on my setting sprays and my powders all the time so maybe i'll just keep going so now that i've said all the products that i'm going to be trying to use up or hit pan on let's talk about what i'm how i'm gonna do updates because a lot of the time people do updates like every month i don't wear makeup all the time so i think it's not fair to do that i think oh <laughs> i'm gonna try and do favorite product videos every two to three months and at the end of that because again i'm not trying too many products so it probably won't be long i at the end of that will then put in updates i might have so if i've used products up or sorry my camera was like you filmed for too long bitch let's just try that again so um i will um oh, casper's about to climb the wardrobe there we go <laughs> um so i will then include updates like oh i've moved this like say of my milk one oh it's moved up this much or oh i've gone down this much or oh i've hit pan on this product i'm trying to like rotate things in i think that would be a good idea i haven't i don't do favorites videos anymore like at all i used to do favorites videos like almost every month but i just don't anymore because i don't use up products uh, not products i don't i don't wear products like all the time like i used to wear product i used to wear makeup every single day i don't do that anymore i wear makeup like two times a week probably maximum um, but it just depends on my shift pattern. It just depends on what I'm doing. So there's that um, Yeah, I think that might be it. I think that is everything I needed to say so that is my ten Products we have got the milk Highlighter Fenty cream blush Fenty cream bronzer Fenty bronzer uh, the Charlotte Tilbury um, highlighter and um, blush creams we have got milk Hydra grip fenty lip gloss we have got charlotte tilbury flawless filter and then we've also got the foundation from charlotte tilbury i think that's a good mixture um oh i also use it on my brow product i don't well i use the same brow products all the time as well so i don't there's no point putting them in but yeah i think and also hair care is hair and skin care there's no point because i just use them up i don't like project pan that's weird um not why well, it's weird for me anyway <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys will stick around for the um updates i also do shop my stash every month pretty much every month so i also rotate for my makeup a lot of the time so if you want to see my, more of my collection then let me know um i do show it pretty i do show it in those videos um but if you want to see like a makeup collection video let me know because i can do one i mean i decluttered some bits recently as well so there's that um but yeah without further ado i will leave you guys to it before this video gets far too long um so yeah bye guys